My life is a miracle. Every child has a story of God's love to share. Shalom World, tune into God's love story. You ready, Katie? Ready, ready. Okay. So you have to try to listen to my directions and sit on the books. First, turn around three times. Good. Are you a bit confused now? Yep. Good. Keep facing the front and take one step to your left. Nap that quickly! I mean, it's bad about to swoop you! Okay, you're safe now. Stand up straight. Good. Now, careful, because there's a small hole in front of you. So when I say, jump, and I'm gonna count to three, all right? Okay. Three, two, one, jump! Oh no, Katie, a vine grabbed onto your right leg as you jumped over the big hole! Take a big step backwards. Good. Now lean down to your leg and pull the vine off. Good job, Katie. This time, instead of jumping over the hole, reach above your head and grab a small branch. Yep, that's the one. Now grab family and swing over the hole. Good, Katie. Now quickly turn around and sit down. The box is behind you. Yay! All right, you did it. Go, Katie. Thanks, Coco. Phew. I think you're a Coco amazing. You listen to everything I said. Oh, you gave good instructions, Coco. I know I can trust you, just like all my friends could trust God even in the most difficult of times. Come and play, play with Katie and Coco. That's the way. Get ready, let's go. Flying through the air with Coco. Telling stories with Katie. You and I together. Meeting my friends, friends that help us every day. Katie and Coco, that help us every day. Katie and Coco, play and sing, pray and bring you and I. We do our thing, it's Katie and Coco. Okay, kids, it's time for you to listen now to a tongue twister. Do you yeah. remember it? Yeah, we do, we do, we do. All right, ready? Let's try it all together. How many yaks could a yak pack pack if a yak pack could pack yaks? Yeah, Coco, amazing. Everyone's listening very well today. They sure are. How about it's time to listen to a story now? Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Let's go. Have you ever wanted something so much you would do whatever it takes to get it? Maybe you wanted to go see your friends or eat something yummy. So you've been really good and done whatever your mum and dad have asked you to do first. Like clean your room or eat your veggies or be nice to your brother or sister. Okay, now I want you to remember what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you. Maybe you forgot your lunch and you had to wait all day until you got home to eat. Or maybe You've been bullied or left out by other kids. Or maybe you've even had to say goodbye to someone really close to you. Or maybe you've been really sick. When these things happen to us, it's easy to think that we're the only ones who have been through something like this. But really, the strongest people are the ones who have so many challenges like these to face and still not given up. So now imagine that you've wanted something so badly that you've been ready to go through the worst thing that's ever happened to you just to get it. Because when we really want something, it's amazing what we'll do sometimes to get it. Have you ever really wanted something, Coco? Yes, one time I really wanted to see my friend, but there was a storm, so it was dangerous to fly. But I did it anyway and I reached my friend. <sighs> That's a relief. I'm glad you didn't get too hurt or lost. Was it worth it in the end though? It definitely was, and I had the best time together. Well. One of my friends, Katiri Tekakwitha, also had to go through a lot to get what she wanted. In fact, she had to go through more than most of us. But what she wanted was more worth it than anything else. What did she want? 
She wanted to marry Jesus and give her life to him and no one else. Did she end up getting it? Yes, but it wasn't easy. What challenges did she face to get what she wanted? Well, her whole life was filled with challenges. First was when she was young and she had a terrible disease that put all these terrible sores over all her face. And this made her have scars for the rest of her life. And she often had to hide her face with a blanket because people made fun of her for the way she looked. That's so mean, Pocketeery. Have you kids ever been mean to someone? Or maybe someone's made fun of you? It's not nice, is it, when that happens? And when we are mean, we should always tell Jesus that we're sorry and tell the person that we hurt that we're sorry as well. I agree. Kateri must have been so sad when people made fun of her. That's right, Coco. But that wasn't even the worst part. Her family got sick from the same sickness as well, and they died. Oh no! So what did Kateri do? Well, after that, her uncle looked after her. But when she grew up, more problems came up. Like what? Well, remember when I told you that Kateri wanted to give herself only to Jesus? Yes. Well, her uncle did not understand. He wanted her to marry one of the men in their tribe. But no matter how many times Kateri was offered a man, she refused to accept him. She was determined to keep her promise and give herself only to Jesus. Did her uncle let her do what she wanted in the end? No. You see, Kateri was a Native American woman and the rest of her tribe didn't share her belief in Jesus. So she was forced to run away to a Christian village to find safety. There her wishes were respected, but she still found things to offer up there as well. Do you like to offer up things for Jesus? Kateri offered up extra things for him, like sleeping in an uncomfortable bed or eating plain food, but you can offer up anything you don't particularly like. What are some things the kids can offer up, Coco? Hmm, maybe helping at home or doing something kind for a friend. Yeah, good ideas, Coco. Or you could help your mum with the dishes, or not complain when something doesn't go your way, or maybe play with your brother or sister even though you don't want to. There's so many things we can do. And Jesus will accept anything, no matter how small. So you don't need to worry if you think it's not as big as like something like Kateri would do. And if you want, you can ask her to help you do those bigger things. Coco amazing! Let's ask her now! Dear St. Kateri, thank you for showing us to never give up when we want something good. Help us to have the strength to offer up whatever comes our way so that we can deserve the love of Jesus you fought so hard for. Ah, uh, Katie, you must be copping Sanctuary before when you trusted me and listened to me so well. So you can sit on my rock. I certainly was, Coco. Just like I listened to you, Sanctuary listened to God and let him help her in every moment of her life. Cool! Hey, kids, we should do that too. Is that a good idea, Katie? It's a Coco amazing idea, Coco. And now, let's do a Coco amazing tongue twister. I like the sound of that. Nice. Ready? I'll say it once and then you can repeat after me in little bits. <laughs> Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. All right. All right. Shall we break that down? Yeah. Okay. Betty bought butter. Betty bought butter. But the butter was bitter. But the butter was bitter. So, Betty bought better butter. So, Betty bought better butter. To make the bitter butter better. To make the bitter butter better. Perfect. Let's try it all together. Yeah, okay. Are you ready? Betty, Betty bought butter. But the butter was bitter. So, Betty, Betty bought, bought better, better butter to make the bitter butter better. Yay! Butter, butter, butter. Betty must have liked butter a lot. <laughs> she must have, Coco. You're right. Shall we go make some craft now? Yeah, sounds very cool. Then let's go. <laughs> what are we making, Katie? Today, we're going to be making a daisy for St. Kateri. Oh, why, Katie? Why a daisy? Ah. Well, Kateri was part of a Native American tribe called the Mohawks, and she was known as the daisy of the Mohawks. So, we're going to be making a daisy made out of paper and some pipe cleaners. All right, shall we start? Yeah, Katie. Ooh. Okay, 
So what you need is just a, a piece of paper. You might want a second one. Um, I'm just gonna use one piece of paper. And we need some pipe cleaners. I've got some yellow ones here and then two green ones as well. And also some scissors and a pencil. Okay, so what we're gonna do to start is we're going to do a trace of our hands on the paper and then we're going to draw around it. Now you might need some help with this, but I will show you how to do it on your own like this. Ready? So you put one hand on there and then you get your pencil and then you've got to just trace lightly around your hand like this. Now we're going to do the other hand. It might be a bit tricky if it's your bad hand, but use your hand as a outline for it. Okay, so there's my two hands on the piece of paper. Okay, so now we're gonna get our scissors. Be very careful with the scissors because they're sharp. Really sharp. And we're gonna cut around the shapes of the two hands like this. Ready? So there's one hand done. Hello. Wow. Hello. That looks like my arm. Do you want to give a handshake, Coco? Okay. Ready? <laughs> High five. Okay, now I'm going to start the other hand. Okay, so there we've got our two hands. So get your green pipe cleaner. And what you're going to do is you're going to put one of the fingers here here and then one of the hands on the other side like that and then we'll wrap them around but before we do that we're just going to curl the fingers so they're like petals so I'm gonna get our pencil back again and just gonna lightly curl the fingers back on themselves We've got our curly fingers. They look a bit freaky, don't they? They're like, like that. That's a bit freaky. But now they're going to be a flower. They're going to be a lily. Okay, so we'll get back our green pipe cleaner. We'll do one at a time. We're going to put one on the side like this. And we're going to put the other one on the other side. Like this. And then, how do you reckon we're going to stick them there? We can't just leave it like that, can we? No. No, we have to stick it there somehow. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this green pipe cleaner and we're going to wrap it around the bottom. There's the most part of our lily. Now, we've still got these pipe cleaners left. So what we're going to do, we're going to attach these to the middle pipe cleaner. push those down to the bottom a bit. And now we're going to curl these as well. So we're just going to bend them a bit. And there we go. There is our very own lily. Now, we made a lily because Kateri was known as the lily of the Mohawks. Now, the Mohawks was the name of her Native American tribe. And so she was known as the lily of the Mohawks. Hi kids, if you'd like extra instructions on how to make this, you can find it at swpals.org. Also, I'd love to see you guys making your very own lilies like Sankateri and you can send in a photo of you with your lily and upload it on the same website. Katie, that lily has the same colour as me. Do I look like a bit of a lily? Hmm, let's see. Um, yeah, I guess a bit. What do you think, kids? But I didn't grow out of the ground like a real lily. You're right. And I didn't make you out of paper like this lily. Lucky. Well, very lucky. Shall we remember our tongue twister now? Yeah, let's remember it. Okay. Ready? Repeat after me. 
Betty bought butter. Betty bought butter. But the butter was bitter. But the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter. So Betty bought better butter. To make the bitter butter better. To make the bitter butter better. Good. Let's try it all together. Yeah. Betty, Betty bought butter. butter. But the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. I think we're better that time. I think we were better that time. You're right, Coco. But it's time for us to go now. See, See you next, next time, kids. Send Kateri, open up our earies. Come and play, play with Katie and Coco. That's the way. Get ready, let's go. Flying through the air with Coco. Telling stories with Katie. You and I together, meeting my friends. Friends that help us every day. Katie and Coco. That help us every day. Katie and Coco, play and sing. Pray and bring you and I, we do our thing. It's Katie and Coco.